Hello, my name is Monica Talley, and I am the head of the Trademark, Advertising, and Anti-Counterfeiting Practice at Stern Kessler. Today I'm going to talk to you about opportunity and risk presented by emerging markets and what it means in terms of your global brand protection strategy. Every year, Thompson CompuMark releases its annual report providing an overview of trademark activity across 186 countries. This year's report is particularly interesting in terms of what it reveals about worldwide filing trends and expected market growth. The report highlights the major shift by multinational brand owners towards emerging markets, as seen by the change in the composition of the top 10 countries with the most published trademarks. This year's list is led by China. Surprise! In addition, top 10 regulars, the UK, Germany, and Canada, were replaced on the list by India, Mexico, and Taiwan for number of trademarks published. The largest per country increase in published trademarks was seen by Brazil, with over 50% growth over 2012. Large growth was also seen in South Korea at 23% and in Turkey at 18%. On the whole, the statistics illustrate a shift towards investment in developing markets. It is estimated that today's emerging markets will constitute 50% of the world's total consumption within a decade. Some of the world's largest retail brands, including Walmart and Tesco, saw their revenues grow 25 times faster in developing economies than in their own home countries. Given the tremendous opportunity presented by these underexploited consumer populations, much of the expansion in trademark publishing comes from multinational firms seeking to protect and expand their consumer base. According to the Thompson Report, the top five classes of published trademarks across all countries are Class 35, which covers advertising and business management and consulting services, Class 9, which covers, covers all software and computers, PDAs and the like, Class 25 for clothing, footwear and headwear, Class 41 for education, entertainment, sporting, and cultural services, and Class 5 pharmaceutical and veterinary preparations. There was some interesting movement within these classes that helps illustrate some developing market trends. First, in 2013, South Korea replaced Germany in the top five registries for Class 9 products, software and computers. South Korea has continued to see growth due to technological innovation in the country. Next, China and Brazil together make up nearly 70% of trademarks published in Class 25 for clothing and apparel. This growth is explained by China's dominance in the apparel manufacturing industry, as well as the growth of the fashion industry in Brazil. Finally, Japan and Brazil replaced France and Turkey among the top five in Class 5 pharmaceutical products. Brazil has seen an increase in activity due to the presence of multinational pharmaceutical companies and the government's campaign against poverty. In addition to illustrating the opportunities presented by emerging markets, the statistics also highlight the importance of considering a global brand protection strategy early in your product or service life cycle. Trademark squatting, the practice of registering a trademark on a first, in a first-to-file jurisdiction prior to entry by the legitimate brand owner, is still a thriving practice in many up-and-coming economies. Timely registration of key marks in developing markets is also an important first step in stemming the flow of counterfeit products manufactured abroad. As companies seek the opportunities presented by emerging markets and as competition increases, timely and comprehensive brand protection will become an even more important component to success. Thank you.